Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be using a lot of new goodies that I purchased from Sephora. And I am so excited for this because I'm going to be using the new Norvina palette. And I have been dying, dying to use this and film a video for you guys because as soon as I got it, oh my gosh, my heart is so happy. This palette makes me so happy. The color scheme is beautiful and whimsical and all fairy goodness. <laughs> um, and Norvina is the daughter of Anastasia. She's a very creative, beautiful sweet person so I'm super proud of her and so I have other products as well to use in this video I have the milk makeup blur stick um, I may have used this in a video already but I want to keep testing it and trying it I have the Tarte creaseless concealer um, I'm really excited to try that. The Tarte Fairy Flush Amazonian Clay It's a really pretty nude. For my nails, I need to repaint them. <laughs> um, and then I also got the, the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer. <laughs> uh, I have seen this everywhere um, and I wanted to try it because I love Marc Jacobs Beauty. His bronzer. I have. That's all I have for right now. And so, if without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're gonna start with the eyes, and I'm gonna prime them with my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics number four brush to blend that out. The Norvina palette. And the palette comes with seven mattes. Three mattes in here are more of like a satin matte, and then the rest are mattes, and then seven metallics on the top. So I'm and I'm going to start with the shade called Incense in my crease using my BH Cosmetics number. I think this is number yeah number six brush. Tap into it once. Because there's a little, a little, well, oh, there goes the brush. A little bit of kickback. And honestly, because her shadows are pigmented, which is good, that means you can see the color. It's blending that into the crease. So next, I'm going to go into the shade called volatile and we use that to deepen the outer V and I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics number eight brush tap into it once just gonna pack that I'm gonna go back into that blending brush and just blend everything together. I'm gonna go into the shade up Love and put that in the crease. Love is the one that has a little bit of satinness to it. I'm gonna take my Luxie Beauty Taper blending brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Soul. It's really pretty florpal. <laughs> it's a blue based purple, like a lilac. I'm 
I'm gonna put that here. Go into, I'm actually gonna go into Celestial, this really, really pretty purple. I'm gonna use my finger. His fingers work just as well. May even better. And then I'm gonna go back into that Soul Shade. Go into Celestial one more time just to make it pop. Towards like the inner lid, I'm going to use the shade called Wild Child. This one right here with my pinky. Okay, so that is how we're looking so far. It's really pretty. I like that. Okay, and then for the inner corner, I'm going to use the shade called Dreamer. And I'm going to use Elf Inner Corner Brush. So this is how the palette is looking. There is some kickback, but that's what happens with Anastasia's eyeshadows. They're just pressed softly. So that's that, but I, I like how it turned out. I like this palette. I like the color scheme and the eyeshadows blend in nicely and they're, they are well form formulated, I think. Okay, so now, moving on to mascara. So this is the um, Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara by Wander Beauty. With mascara, you always wanna blink into it. really pretty I like this mascara I'm a, I'm a fan okay and now that you guys are up close and personal you can see the I look better and I'm not gonna do anything to the lower lash line other than add mascara because I feel like it looks good as it is. I use both the Milk Makeup Blur Stick and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer Primer and Moisturizer. It has hyaluronic acid in it which helps retain moisture. And what I'm going to do is use this on where I have pores, so on my T-zone and then this everywhere else. Elf cream. And just use that underneath the eyes. So, while everything sinks in, I'm actually going to spoolie my brows. And this is the Aesthetica spoolie. Um, leave my brows natural. That's fine. Okay, so 
the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. And I'm going to use my, my Tarte, uh, I think this is like their Kabuki brush. I love this brush to blend out my liquids. It gives good coverage. You can see just a tiny bit of my um, freckles peeking through. So I'm just going to go over it with one more layer. really good it's got more of like a dewy formula and I also you can see the elimination from the um, the eye cream that I used too which is nice okay so to Set that lightly. I'm going to use my favorite setting color, the one by Cover FX. It's very, it's a creamy powder, which is nice. The um, Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. that on this BH Cosmetics number one brush. Tap them once. Hmm. That looks really good. I like that. Blend it out really nicely too. And it comes with a really nice size mirror. A plus Marc Jacobs <laughs> and then I'll go into the Tarte's Amazonian clay flush brush in the, is the shade fairy flush using the same brush so that everything melts into each other it's a really pretty soft nude all for lips. I'm going to go into the Fenty Beauty Gloss Foam. Hmm. Smells really good. And then coat my lower lashes. I like how this wand is super easy to get the lower lashes. Okay, so that is the finished look. I'm gonna bring you in close. What do you guys think? I think it looks really pretty. I feel like a whimsical fairy right now. <laughs> um, I like it. I, I really do. I think everything performed well. <laughs> Brands are really stuffing up their game. And I love the eyeshadow palette called Norvina. I think it's, it's really good. I like it. I, I'm impressed. I think so. Um, thumbs up for me and basically I liked everything <laughs> um which is good I mean I paid good money for this so I expect the products to work well um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I let me know in the comments below if you've picked up any of these products and what you think and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, so it is now 
something in the morning and I am going to bed so I thought I'd update you on the makeup I'm wearing I'm in a change of scenery I'm in my boyfriend's bathroom <laughs> um, but yeah this is how the concealer looks I think it looks pretty good and I didn't put any around my nose, that's just powder. <laughs> um, the bronzer held up well, and the blush did too. And the mascara looks good. The lip gloss did <laughs> fall off. Or, not fall off. Sorry, my brain's dying. <laughs> it needs to go to bed uh, to recharge. Um, the gloss is totally gone. The eyeshadows look really good they haven't faded or anything so yeah that is my chicken and I've had this on since 4 p.m. today so I had it on for quite some time so I thought I'd update you guys and everything worked out really well so I'm happy about that and I will I hope you guys found this video helpful and fun or entertaining and I will see you guys